And in an attempt to slow the growth of methamphetamine labs, pharmacies in the state of Missouri are now using the same electronic system to track the sale of meth's key ingredient. The now KC's Mackenzie Nelson got a firsthand look at how it works. The system is called NPLEX, National Precursor Log Exchange. It's being used at pharmacies all over to keep pseudoephedrine, an essential ingredient for meth, out of the wrong hands. The drug is typically found in cold and allergy medicines. Well, we were number one, number two for several years. This was this was very much a uh, a good solution that put the state on the right track to decreasing those meth lab numbers. The way it works, a customer looking to purchase pseudoephedrine will be asked for their driver's license. It's scanned and then the cashier can see if they've reached their limit. The 3.6 is the daily limit. NPLEX is a real-time stop sale system used in 33 states. Once a customer reaches the daily or monthly limit, the pharmacy would not be allowed to sell the medication. And most of the ones that have been blocked are, like I said, normal people, everyday people, and they just had bought it last week and didn't realize. Law enforcement would also be alerted. Every transaction is visible to law enforcement. Last year alone, NPLEX stopped the sale of over 37,000 boxes of pseudoephedrine. Last several years, we've seen approximately a 400 percent decline in the meth lab incidences around the state. The system doesn't only cover the purchases made in Missouri. It can work across the state line in Kansas and in other states that implemented it as well. In Lee Summit, I'm Mackenzie Nelson, the Now KC. And according to the Drug Enforcement Administration, 24 of the 33 states have seen reductions in meth labs after they started using Neplex.